And he said, we did it in self-defense. I said, what do you mean, self-defense? Nobody attacked Germany. Germany attacked Poland, Russia, France, Belgium, Holland, Sweden, Norway. Where is your self-defense? Uh-huh, he said. But I knew, we knew, that Soviet Union intended to attack us, and therefore we had to attack them first to preempt an attack against us. And why did you kill all the Jews? Well, everybody knows the Jews were sympathetic to the Bolsheviks, and so you had to kill them too. And why did you kill all the children? Well, if we eliminated the parents, uh, the children would grow up and they would be enemies of the Reich as well. So we were interested in the long-term uh, security of our country, and therefore we had to kill the children too. As if to say it's perfectly logical to kill thousands of little children. Otto Ollendorf states that his estimate of the number killed by the Einsgruppe D during the time that he was in charge was 90,000. And he comes to that conclusion from the reports. And that is what I understand he says today. Ich bin mit dieser Antwort der Präsident nicht ganz überein. Und zwar insofern nicht, als ich sagte, diese Zahl von 90.000 ist gemeldet worden als getötet. Aber ich kann damit weder verbinden, dass sie wirklich getötet sind, noch viel weniger damit verbinden, dass sie von der Einsatzgruppe getötet sind, weil ich eben neben Übertreibungen auch bestimmt weiß, dass von der Einsatzgruppen fremde Ereignisse mit, von den Einsatzkommandos fremde Ereignisse mitgemeldet worden sind. Daher konnte ich nur wiederholen, es sind 90.000 gemeldet worden. Ohlendorf was a good example of the type of man who would do that. And he explained that he would have done it again, he would do it again. He believed that the Führer knew more than he did, and if it was necessary for the protection of Germany, he would do it again. And he was the father of five children. And because he was honest, I thought, well, I didn't want him to have the feeling that my personal intervention was vengeance uh, as a Jew and glorifying, you know, getting even with this major general in the SS who killed 90,000 Jews. I thought, well, he's a human being, he's got a family, he's got five children. Maybe he wants me to take some message to his wife or something like that. So I went down to the death house, which is right below the courtroom. The little lift goes down and there are the various cells. And they brought him out in a little cell with a heavy glass in between, a few holes in it. And uh, I said, Herr Ollendorf, I spoke to him in German. Uh, he had been sentenced to death. We both knew he was a dead man. Um, is there anything I can do for you? And um, it was a human gesture. I didn't, I didn't think of, in terms of clemency. It was just a human gesture. I thought he might say, well, tell my wife, my children, I love them, I'm sorry, something. He said, the Jews in America will suffer for this. It was threatening me. I said goodbye, Mr. Olandoff, in English. I turned around and walked away. The next time I saw Olandoff was on photograph of him dropping in the gallows and lying there dead in a coffin. It was the only words I ever exchanged with Olandoff or with any of the defendants. The only words I ever wanted to exchange.